Welcome to VBOR 101. I'm Frederick Mullen, aka Mr. Mel. Today I'm gonna go over how you recalibrate your endpoints on a speed controller, in this case the Scorpion speed controller, when you do not have a separate receiver. Uh, it's a bit tricky when you have a BAC in the speed controller and you have a um, um, no separate receiver. So I'm gonna show you how I've done it. In my setup here I actually have a motor um, so I can uh, spin stuff up without having to worry about my fingers or anything. Uh, and it's a bit temporary connection but I'll show you. What you will need to do is either one of two things. Either you need a buffer pack that is exactly the same voltage uh, as the BAC setting. So if you're running 7.4 you need a 2S LiPo. If you're running 6.2 you need a 5 cell uh, uh, NICAD or, or a hybrid pack. If you're running 5.2 then you need a 4 cell of the same type. But in this case uh, I will use a 2 cell pack a LiPo as a buffer pack and if you do not have a um, if you have use a pack that is not the same uh, voltage as the BC you have to uh, pull the red cable from this and um, actually disable the BC I'm gonna show you why because what we need to do here is to keep the V bar running while we reset the speed control. That's the, the whole point of this exercise. So uh, first of all you need to go into governor one page and disable the uh, uh, governor temporarily. I'm going to show you here how you, I do it. So I have here the VBOR program running. I have plugged in my buffer pack so it's running even though I haven't plugged in the speed controller. I want to go into setup, okay, governor one, and just disable it, and then finish. I also want to check one thing, and that's going into setup. I want to go in on the transmitter. I'm gonna stop that annoying beeping, and I want to check that I have a uh, zero to hundred throttle curve so in this case I didn't have it I have only 87 so then I have to adjust my endpoints and in this case it's because I had a preset curve that uh, was not uh, it looks like this let's see if I can get some focus here uh, it, and that's why it's not reaching to plus 100. So I'm just resetting the top one to a, a 100. And uh, now it's reading um, 101. Actually, it's okay. I mean, 1% isn't that much off. So what I want to do now, I have the system running. The speed controller is not connected. I want to... Let's see if we can... Uh, I want for this particular speed controller to reset the endpoints I need to boot up with the uh, throttle at max. The problem is if you do this without the buffer pack the V-bar will boot up in fail safe because it didn't get a zero throttle. But since we have the buffer pack the V-bar is running I can now plug in the speed controller it reads my upper endpoints And then I lower the, and now it's calibrated. So that was the total exercise. Now my, it has read the upper endpoints. This is the same procedure for Hobby Wing and some other controllers. But the trick is when you don't have that separate receiver, you cannot boot the V-bar with the BAC because the V-bar needs to be up and running because else it will go into a failsafe mode and you don't get the correct reading. If you do not have a uh, 
a buffer pack that is the same voltage as the internal BAC, then you need to pull the red cable. Remember that one. And if it's a, let's say, a uh, hobbyway which do not have a BSE, then it, you can use whatever pack you want. But this is the procedure to recalibrate the endpoints on the speed controller. And finally, I'm going into the VBOR program again on Governor one page, then select electric, and I do not press reset. Do not push it because then everything is reset. I don't need that uh, since all the values were stored from before. So just finish and you're done.